Hello there Aries, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well and I want to start off by just wishing you a very amazing happy birthday time and I hope for those who are celebrating especially at the end of March that you've um, the month finds you well and that you are uh, able to enjoy everything that is coming your way and happy early birthday to, to those who are celebrating at the very beginning of April okay so without further ado let's get into your reading here now you have some really amazing um, fast energy that's coming through. So when I was shuffling out the spread, uh, what I saw was um, it looks almost like a, a cartoon, but, but it's like comic book oriented cartoon. And it might be about a superhero that has like uh, telekinetic powers, okay? So telekinesis is having the power to move things with your mind, okay? So what I saw in this um, scene was it's a high-speed car chase and I feel like there's a man driving a car. He's driving really fast. He's being chased and he's trying to go under the tunnel. However, there's like a big rig that has flipped over and it's blocking the tunnel. It's on fire. And so the the uh, the the uh, big rig, the truck, or I'm sorry, the um, yeah, the truck is um, obstructing his way to get into the tunnel so that he can invade whoever is chasing him. And he has like a girlfriend or like a woman who's on the side. Okay, she has black hair. She has like a red leather jacket. She's wearing like black clothing, like black shirt. Um, possibly leather pants, boots. I don't know why, but I am remembering her very clearly. And she saw the truck that's blocking the tunnel and she moves the truck out of the way with her mind. So she's kind of like, you know, moving her hand. And then with her mind, she's like, be gone, move away obstacle. And then magically the truck moves away. There's clearing to uh, for the driver, the male to get into the tunnel. And so they drive their car in there and they kind of like uh, disappear, okay? So it's a very exciting scene. So high speed car chase, they're able to get away. They're able to use some ESP uh, telekinesis in order to move obstacles out of their way. And they're willing it uh, whatever obstacles in your way, you're moving it away with your mind, okay? So I feel like a lot of it is, you know, uh, focusing on the positive power of manifestation, being able to manifest things into reality with your thoughts. So there is, um, once again, you know, I, um, I don't know if I mentioned this for you guys, but our birthday time is a very lucky time for us, okay? That's when the, the basically the sun is making a major alignment to um, in the sky. So it's basically the sun is moving into the constellation of Aries and especially uh, around your birthday time. It's called a solar return, okay? And uh, during this time, if you want to start projects, if you want to manifest something, if you want to start something new, if you want to change the direction of your life, whatever it is that you're trying to do for yourself, and uh, I'm hoping that you're um, trying to create and manifest positive things in your life, whatever it is that you're hoping to achieve, the solar return will bring you a burst of good luck and a burst of energy to be able to help you uh, manifest these things, okay? So if you're hoping to lose weight, if you're hoping to um, find more energy, more drive, more ambition to get yourself to the gym, if you're hoping to run that extra mile without feeling tired, fatigued, or uh, despondent, or even discouraged, um, the solar return time frame is a really good time for you to get these plans going in action. If you feel like you might not have had the time, the resources, the energy at any other times of the year, the solar return time frame is a very good time for you to kind of like ride the wave, okay? Things are a little bit easier during this time because the sun is in your constellation, which means it's uh, illuminating you. It's putting you in the spotlight. It's giving you that extra burst of energy. It's giving you that extra warmth, that extra luck, and that extra visibility for you to attract the things that you really want. So not only is it a time to celebrate our birthday and our birth and everything that it signifies, it's also a very, very lucky time. So use this energy wisely and especially, you know, try to manifest the things that you want, okay? So when I saw the, um, the, the uh, image that came out, I was thinking, you know, this is a very 
Aries focused type of a reading, okay? Like high speed car chase, things moving in a really, really fast, um, swift manner. Things are moving in the right direction. And I also feel like, you know, there's a lot of things here that, um, whether or not you are aware of or not, you are really bringing into existence the things that you want. You're willing some, you're willing things to come into the picture for you, just by you know the process of manifesting, thinking it and willing it into existence, creating it out of thin air. And um, I also feel like this manipulation of energy in a positive way, manipulating energy, um, finding like you know that extra reserve of strength. Or being very resourceful with your finances or even uh, the energies at your disposal in order to get everything going your way okay and I especially feel like this energy about you know never shying uh, never backing down never shying from a conflict and especially if you feel like um, there's an obstacle in your way you don't you know just uh, take a different route you're just like how can I blast through this obstacle how can I get it out of my way how can I continue moving forward without having things obstruct me so this is a really big energy about not taking things lying down not being a, a doormat not letting people walk all over you and especially you know uh, giving it's like um, giving people a taste of their medicine, giving people like a piece of your mind and especially being assertive enough to like, you know, bounce back and be able to move things out of your way, clear obstacles, clear blockages out of your path in order to achieve everything that you want. So it is a very powerful energy. Use it to your advantage. Okay, so that's what this month is really all about. Sorry about that. There was a knock on the door at the door. Um, so, um, I haven't even started talking about the cards yet. I was just relaying the message for you that I saw or the image that I saw. So let me talk about a few things here. Um, I feel like this reading, kind of similarly to the uh, Piscean reading, it's going to touch upon a few, uh, the past few years in your life, okay? So I feel like it, it's, it's taking us through memory lane a little bit. And so if you're, you know, the impatient type, just bear with me. Um, what I'm feeling is there was a series of shuffling around, movement, moving around, trying to find your bearing, trying to find yourself, trying to find where you fit in, trying to find what's a good environment for you, a good city for you to live in, a good place for you to work in, a good, good group of friends for you to be with, uh, a good career path for you. I feel like you were going through this... Um, this journey of self-discovery and I feel like at the time that it was happening it could have been the past uh, four years okay at the time that it was happening you didn't realize that it was a journey of self-discovery I feel like you felt like things were just happening to you you felt like you were making decision and they kind of snowball out of control and then you know one path leads to another and so on and so forth and um, little did you know that you know you were the 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 ones that set these uh, series of things events in motion and I feel like there was a a, a very nomadic uh, lifestyle you know a, a very transient transplanted type of an energy that you were dealing with for the past uh, four months you might have like you know shifted around okay there was a lot of movement I'm seeing in the past we have here the six of um, the six of swords this is about you know look at the the little tower in the background okay like a burnt home a place of um, that we thought was a place of refuge all of a sudden it went up in flames so some of you might have been displaced from your homes some of you might have left a home and you're just like I am not happy there I am not enjoying the city I'm not enjoying that place in particular I'm getting out of Dodge okay and then others of you I feel like you know you were uh, actively seeking new adventures new opportunities you were realizing that something was not very stable and so you moved on to a safer place and to a safer passage and so many of you have consciously you know made these decisions okay this didn't work out and so I'm gonna move on to the next thing and if that doesn't work out I'll move on to the next thing so I feel like it wasn't you know like uh, there wasn't a lot of planning involved it was kind of like process of elimination let me try this if it doesn't work out let me try the next thing if that doesn't work out then at least I would be able to rule out these things and so you were trying to figure out where you fit in you were trying to figure out what is best for you but you didn't have a roadmap 
you didn't have like um, you you didn't rely on the things that you already know. I feel like you were kind of fumbling around in the dark, trying to feel things out, trying to figure out uh, whether or not it would work, or whether or not it would be tolerable, or whether or not you could make it work. And so I do feel like you came into you know this whole discovery phase with a lot of uh, optimism. And also with a lot of like um, that 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 optimistic, playful energy, you know, what's the worst thing that could happen, right? Like if it doesn't work, then I'll move on. And so there was a lot of location, uh, geographical location changes. There was a lot of movement. There was a lot of like um, here today, gone tomorrow. Let me stay in this apartment for a short period of time with a short lease, and then I'll move to the next place. Let me stay in this city for a short period of time, and then try to figure out what works for me. And I feel like in the process of eliminating what did not work for you, I feel that it allows you to see what it is that you really crave, what it is that you really want. And so, moving into the present moment, you have found it. I have here, this is the Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands, look at this frog. This is about stability. This is a, a home life, an environment that we can really feel safe in, we can feel secure, we can feel stable, and we can feel like, you know what, this is where I'm going to hang my hat and hang my coat and unpack my clothes and stay for a while, kick up my feet and feel at ease and feel at home. So I feel like many of you have finally found this refuge, found this haven, and it came about through that process of elimination. You have to eliminate things that did not work, that you did not want, in order for you to finally be at peace and, and, and you know, be sure and certain that this is working, this is what I really want now. And so it took a really long time to get there for many of you. It might have been the past four years. So the past four years would have been like, you know, since 2018, that you were kind of fumbling around, changing location every few months and changing your mind, changing your thoughts. And it's a process of self-discovery. It's like, you know, uh, discovering what the Aries person really want. Like you're discovering yourself. Like, what do I really want? This doesn't work. And I'm leaving that behind. But what actually works for me? And I feel like you were going about it in a different way. Um, you were knocking out the options that were no longer feasible, no longer desirable for you. And as a result, you are finding out what really works for you. So we're in a really good space right now. Um, we have here the Queen of Pentacles. And this is like the queen of the home and the hearth. And this is somebody who's very happy and content and financially stable. Okay? So... News on the financial front, I feel like you guys are making good money. Um, a, a steady stream of income is coming in. You're at a point where you're trying to decorate your home. You're trying to uh, beautify your home. You're at a place where you feel like, you know what, I can stay here for the next few years. And so you're buying things for the house. You're buying couches. You're buying television. You're buying things that will denote, you know, I'm planning to stay here for the long term, like couches, big furniture, dressers, beds, um, pictures even to hang up. You know, like you're making your space a lot more comfortable because you understand that after everything I've been through, I know that this is where I want to stay for a while. I know that this is the place where I want to rest for a while. So I feel like there's a lot of mental clarity coming into the picture for you regarding what it is that you want. We have as well the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is about a victory. It's about mental clarity. It's about coming to a space where you are in agreement. It's like um, an awakening, uh, an epiphany, um, having like that snippet of information where you're just like, this is what I really, really want. This feels safe. This feels secure. I'm going to go forward with it. For some of you, there might have been some big financial gains, okay? Like a financial win. And I, I would say like winning the, the jackpot, winning something, winning a sum of money, uh, coming into a space where you are potentially winning a client over, uh, winning a portfolio, landing a portfolio, or doing something where you feel like is challenging enough it um, brings me a lot of financial abundance and you so you're in a space where you feel like I'm happy where I am I'm happy with my work I'm happy that I'm able to um, do work that is meaningful that is fulfilling that is challenging and I'm really really happy so I feel that coming into the month of March 
things are just kind of like they're a-okay for you guys okay and i feel many of you are jumping into the month of march uh recovering uh feeling really good feeling very healthy um planning to I'm sensing beautify your home, planning to invite other people into your space, be, and so you're making it more comfortable. And I feel like after you know the turbulent past four years that you have had to contend with, you're finally at ease, and you're finally like okay and comfortable with uh, staying in one place and no longer bouncing around. Okay, not that the spirit of adventure has left you. It's just for now, you're like I'm. I'm okay with staying here. I'm not impatient anymore. I'm. Uh, I feel like the domesticity. Like I'm okay with being domesticated. That's what it feels like to me. I'm okay with being uh, at home. I'm okay with entertaining guests at home. I no longer need to go out and about. I no longer need to be surrounded by like hundreds of people in order to feel happy. I'm okay with where I am. Okay. Um, for others of you, I feel like for um, you are waiting on some type of a financial windfall. Okay. We have here the hangman, and the hangman is a state of suspension. It's like waiting for something, waiting for information, waiting for news, waiting for contact, waiting for a situation to make itself clear. So waiting for some things to clear up, and it's linked up as well with the high priestess. And the high priestess is like when your intuition is telling you a certain thing, and you're 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 trying to find evidence of what your intuition is telling you in the real world. And Aries, as the uh, first sign of the zodiac, and also as a fire sign, a lot of the times too, I feel like you don't put much stock in your intuition. Um, you have an inkling. We we all have, you know, our intuition. We have intuition. All of us, each and every single one of us. And uh, sometimes, you know, some people describe it as a gut feeling. Other people describe it as a voice in their hand. Other people describe it as a feeling on their skin. But we all have this gut instinct, and whatever you choose to call it, I feel like for many of you, you have an inkling about something. And I, I do sense for many of you, this could be a new job that you're thinking about. This could be a new endeavor. This could be somebody that is coming through, offering you a new job, offering you a gig, offering you to partner up, offering you to take on a project or even like uh, add them to your list of clients. And I feel that you have an inkling about this person and you're not really sure how to respond to this. So some of you might be kind of like in this limbo state, waiting for more information before you can make a move. For others of you, this is kind of like deciding to sell something, possibly a, a house, a property, waiting on a settlement or waiting on something re uh, as it relates to a contract or like um, finances. And you're kind of like still on the fence trying to figure out when is a good time to buy, when it is a good time to relinquish or release the property or this project. And so I feel as if you're going to be getting some type of a closure for this month. There's some truth and some clarity coming into the picture. And I feel like once this uh, clarity, this news, this communication, this information comes to light, that's when things are going to get rolling for you. Okay. So I do feel like there will be some clearing up. Of the energy clearing up of blockages being able to figure out in your mind's eye to will something into existence to remove blockages for yourself so that there is a clear path ahead of you so that you can you know drive that car into that tunnel okay so I, I do sense like there has been something that um, that was like an obstacle in the way in which you move okay it, it's so for many of you for example it's like wanting to change location but you might have a house a property that's under your name and you're not really sure what to do you're not sure if you want to rent it out and you're not sure if you want to sell it and so i feel like you're getting some information about whether or not to relinquish the property altogether and i feel like you're going to be selling it okay and then i also feel for others of you um it's it's almost like you might have a lease and you're bound to that, you know, contractually, you're bound to that lease and you have a really good job and you're just like, how do I break out of this lease? I feel like there's going to be some clarity or some communication or some conversation coming into the picture to allow you a, a path to move forward 
and you're trying to figure out if I have a conversation with the landlord you're you're trying to figure out like what do I say how do I you know present my case and I feel like a lot of it once again your, your mental clarity is very very important so come into that meeting come into that um, conversation with the intention in mind that the other person is going to let you um, help you release yourself from this contract and as long as you're able to do that I feel like you're gonna have a very good outcome at the end of that meeting or that conversation okay so your mind is very powerful use it to steer things and manipulate the energy to get it to do exactly what you want and to get the outcome that you want okay it's manipulating the energy it's not about you know deceiving people or um, manipulating people we're talking about you know trying our to use our head to basically uh, steer the direction of the energy towards the outcome that we want okay so it's it's just manipulating the energy but it's not in a negative way in any capacity so if you find yourself kind of like wanting a specific outcome and you're just like, I don't know how I'm going to be able to get it. I don't know if so-and-so is going to let me do that. I don't know if so-and-so is going to let me release me from this. Come into that conversation as if you have already gotten the outcome that you want. Focus on the outcome that you want. And I feel like things will magically, I feel that it will really clear up for you. For some of you, I feel like, you know, there is a serious job negotiation here or a salary negotiation. I feel that you've been uh, at a place for some time and you're scanning the horizon. You're kind of looking around to see what else is available for you. And I feel like you have another job or another company that potentially wants you to work for them. And so you have leverage. You have the power to use that as leverage with your current company so that you can ask for a pay increase. And you're just like, well, if they don't give me a pay increase. I'm just going to go over here. And so use that to your advantage. Leverage based on the information that you have. And I feel that you're going to be able to, you know, get that financial uptick that you're looking for okay we have as well the six of pentacles and the six of pentacles usually indicates to me a huge financial windfall it is also a card about really good karma coming back home to roost so whatever good deeds you have done for other people whatever good things you have done um you know in your own life in your own environment i feel like all of these things are coming back home in order to help propel you in a direction that is meant for you that is universally guided for you and that is better uh, for your higher being so for your greater good so i do feel like if you have been waiting for um even like a financial windfall, even a pay increase, even nervous about negotiating for an increase. I do feel you have a lot of finances coming in. So financial news is looking really good. There are alternate sources of income that you're kind of dipping into. For many of you, you might have a main job that's coming into the picture and you might have a side gig that's bringing you a lot of money, okay? And when it comes to side gigs, like creative ventures and things like that, there are many, many different routes that you can take. We have here Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is historically about choices and options, all the possibilities that are laid out in front of us. And we get to choose, we get to pick which one is most appealing to us, okay? So in this depiction, it doesn't seem to me like anything is fatalistic. I feel like you have your eyes wide open. And then I also feel like, you know, through this turbulent past four years, you know what works for you and you know what doesn't. You know yourself well enough to know which options would be more viable and which option would be the most stable for you. So you're not looking at this in a, um, it's like through, you know, rose colored glasses. You're looking at this through a very, very um, optimistic lens. And I feel for many of you, there are so many options that you can choose from. Um, I'm feeling though that um, if you must make a decision, okay, try to wait until after the 15th or so when we are completely out of that Mercury retrograde um, shadow period completely, okay? And so by that time, I feel like mid-month, something is going to come into the picture to give you a lot more insight and to give you the full picture. So wait for the Mercury retrograde period. The Mercury retrograde period, um, it started on February 18th. And I believe it's only for three months, so I believe it would have been out by March 11th. 
but um, there is a shadow period when the planet is still, you know, um, heavily affecting. So even if we're out of the retrograde period, there's a there's like a lull before the planet can be up and running again. So I feel like it would be best for you to wait until the 15th. It's a good time during Mercury retrograde to really mull over things because we have a lot of insights. But then when it's time, you know, like when the rubber hits the road or when it's really time to implement your plans and, and make things, um, take things to the next level or take action on the things that we have been mulling over, it is best to wait after that shadow period. And I would say like the 15th is when you're in the clear in order to execute these decisions. Okay, so I feel like there will be a little bit of stop and go, but then towards the end of the month, it's all systems go for you. And you have a lot of good things that uh, a lot of projects, a lot of ideas, a lot of opportunities coming in that are yours for the taking. So I feel like you have an abundance in that regard. Um, I do feel there is a little bit of a blast from the past here, and I want to talk about this, okay? So we have here the Six of Cups and the Lovers. Both of these are um, relationship-oriented cards, okay? The Six of Cups is a very strong soulmate connection that we have with another person. This usually denotes somebody that you have known for a very long time. And uh, even if you haven't known them for a really long time, this indicates like a, a soulmate connection where you have, uh, you know, been, you have met each other before. You have shared many, many lifetimes before in the past. And so in this lifetime, when you meet them, their energy feels very familiar. Their, 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 the way they look, the way they act, Everything about them just makes you feel very comfortable and very familiar and it makes you feel at ease It's like you really know this person, you know this person inside and out You know what their limits are, you know what their capabilities are and you know what they're capable of and you know what type of a person they are And so I feel like there's somebody in your life that is making a return in your life and you know this person you've been longing for this person you possibly have been missing this person for quite some time i feel like for some of you you might already be in a relationship when this person comes back in and there is a choice a decision that you have to make here do i stay with the person that i'm with or do i give this another try or do i give this opportunity a chance to flourish and then I also feel for many of you, especially if you are like um, single and dating, there are so many dreamy choices and options that are kind of laid out in front of you here with the Seven of Cups, which denotes to me a lot of options, a lot of choices. All of them are actually pretty good and you have like really strong um, physical attraction and an emotional attraction to these options and these choices. And then I also feel um, there is a potential here to really meet somebody that will, you know, um, dot all the I's and check all the T's and, and you know, meet all the requirement in your checklist, okay? Um, I feel like you have a faded meeting here. It's a um, really strong soulmate connection here that you have with another person. So, for example, if you have been, you know, living with a person and you're just like, we're going to get married and then for whatever reason it didn't happen and you moved away from it and now you're feeling a little bit jaded. I do sense that you're going to meet somebody that will give you the whole nine yards, that will want to settle down, will want to get married and they'll want to restore your faith and love and commitment. Okay, If you have been kind of like burned and jaded and you're just like, I'm focusing on myself, I'm going to work and take care of myself, I'm going to buy myself the nice things, I don't need another person to take care of me. And you've kind of been in this space where you're blocking your heart. Okay, the high priestess is very loving, but she's very detached and she can be a little bit cold. And so if you've been kind of like this, where you're protecting yourself, you're not letting people in to hurt you, I feel like you're going to meet a kindred soulmate that will really restore your, your, your um, faith in humanity and also will really uh, teach you a lot more about love and to kind of uh, make you believe in it again, okay? So this is a very, very good month I'm feeling for relationships and especially towards the end of the month with the new relationships coming into the picture. Um, I just want you to know as well that um, 
The other thing I feel like we need to be a little bit careful about, okay? Um, Aries, you are a fire sign. And so with you, with you, it's not about what you say, it's about what you do, okay? Fire is all about action. And you're the first sign of the zodiac. So you're very, very driven by your actions. You don't sit there and talk about, you know, this is what I want for my career. This is what I want to study. This is where I want to go for vacation. You just get yourself out there and you do things. And so if you really want to be happy, find somebody who is like you, okay? Don't listen to the things that they say. Don't listen to all of their dreams and aspirations. Look at the evidence and look at what they're doing for themselves. You know, for example, they might talk about, you know, wanting to save up money and vacation in Italy or, or somewhere exotic. Italy, Greece, I don't know, wherever. And 